said that uh, Ryan is a better fighter in his constitutionality. He looks for 118. Why do you think well, uh, when I'm saying that uh, like uh, he's different from what he was in 2018, I'm not comparing uh, him from my perspective, but I'm saying that uh, his opponents like during the fights that he took after 2018 paled in comparison uh, with Canales here so he looked better uh, like in fights with his opponents Gennady, how many times have you watched fights one and two and how does it feel today for you having been on the losing side of all decisions <laughs> I did not re rewatch those fights. I took part in those fights. There's no reason for me to, to watch them again. You know, there were some decisions, but those are uh, water under the bridge. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Gennady, you've, di you've displayed destructive power at 160. Do you think your power is going to carry at 168? 100%, yes. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. I, I believe so, but uh, we'll be a, like in a new situation, so we need to try ourselves out. How much comfort do you take the fact that you have been through 24 rounds with Canelo and he never dropped you? I mean, even against Murata, he landed some good shots on you and you didn't go down. That you are, you know, your chin is what it is and you can be as aggressive as you need to be to, you know, and be as daring as you need to be to you know, make this a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight, do you feel like he, he could not knock you to the canvas? You know, uh, boxers at this, at this level, they punch hard. They really hard punchers. You don't realize how hard it is until you get punched that hard. Gennady, describe 24 rounds with Canelo. What's it been like? 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 You see, uh, during the fight, uh, you learn uh, something about your opponent, and I believe that we learn. Uh, something about each other and uh, I believe if you have something against your opponent you uh, Display it during the fight and when the fight is over you hug each other you shake hands and you put everything past uh, past it. if If your opponent says that it's personal to him, maybe I did not uh, Learn him that well. Maybe there is something that uh, I did not grasp you know, you, you mentioned, you know, the pandemic and stuff, and obviously you're older now, your, your kids are older. I'm just kind of wondering in these last handful of years how you've maybe changed as a person, how your perspective on life is different, and maybe how your perspective on boxing is different. <laughs> I 
понять, чего я, ну, то есть, что я поменял, кто не бросил, в этом глобальном Скажем так, я на это стал смотреть с открытыми глазами, а не в те выдуманные истории Кемпа. То есть, ну, то есть слушать на все эти истории, я стал смотреть теперь своими глазами, то есть более обширно. Uh -huh. uh, I believe I'm matured, I became wiser. And uh, a lot of things have changed in life and in boxing. And uh, during that time, I think I learned to look at uh, boxing and the other situation with open eyes not to follow the stories that uh, some people tried to tell me. You know, the, yeah, not looking uh, at life uh, through, you know, like being glasses. Did, did the year off in 2021, did it rejuvenate him any? Did he enjoy his time off in the room? What the level of the you know, enjoy is not the right word because that time was a difficult time for many people. Uh, but the fact that I spent 2020 with my family was a good thing. Gennady, with uh, your last fight against Murata, you got off to a bit of a slow start, but then you turned things around very quickly. What caused the slow start and what caused the rebound? My approach was based on the fact that it was a 12 round bout. So uh, it's a lot of time, 12 rounds. So I started uh, by uh, checking out my opponent, feel my opponent, and uh, I knew that I would have enough time to uh, figure, figure it out. Gennady, there was so much. Gennady, what do you think about the quality of champions that uh, we can able to face at 168? они чемпионы действительно как можно сказать про чемпионов да что плохие потому что ну, это плохие чемпионы или там но я могу сказать что есть на мой взгляд на мой взгляд есть чемпионы выше уровня да но здесь же мы, мы же говорим про бизнес здесь же понимаете вы же должны понимать я это понимаю что здесь я просто чисто на бизнес да, то есть эти хилы чисто делают свой бизнес и все ну что что об этом говорить здесь о боксе говорят yeah, we're talking about champions. Champions are champions. Of course, some champions are better than the others. But here, what we have is strictly business. It's Eddie Hearn doing business. Gennady, uh, you had a draw with Canelo and lost a close decision. Did that change your approach to fighting him the third time? Do you feel like you have to be more forceful uh, in order to win? Do you feel like you need a KO? My strategy stays the same. You have to box. So, and that strategy works. So, nothing would change. Yes. Do you see any differences between Canelo Alvarez at 160 and at 168? Have you seen any differences in his fighting style? Yes. In your estimation? It's hard to say. 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 It's hard to Не только я его понял, но и он много чего понял. Сейчас по сейчас попробую подвести со что-то после. Well, uh, I don't know Canelo at 168. I know him at 160, and there is a reason why this fight is not at 160. Probably not only I learned something about him, he learned something about himself at 160. And now we are going to try at 160.